eager to block mergers. So there were some mergers. So what what is okay to let this merger happen? Or should it have, should that be prevented? That's for example something we try to look at. Um, and so what's the effect of the mergers on concentration ratios? What's the effect of the mergers on the afternoon index? Did mergers help some companies who are not at the top reach the top, for instance? That's the type of question. Is it something that lasts longer? Uh, but of course, the other question that somebody at the competition commission would, uh, would wonder is whether there is any regulation which is needed. Is there a reason for the government to intervene in the Hollywood movie industry? And for example, split some studios into half or make sure that there is more, uh, more competition happening. So that's basically that you should keep in mind. When you do your course work, does it appear, despite the fact that there is a reasonably high <laughs> reasonably high concentration ratio, does it appear to be a rather competitive industry? Or is it something which is more like an oligopoly with always the same company is winning? If you look at the yearly picture, it quite seems that it's always the same company winning. Um, I think looking at market share, was it that Warner had the top market share for yeah. all the years except two? I mean, seems to me like uh, almost like you know British football, um, and I, so that's that's the same. But if you look, if you look for for the movies, that's the story that is told by the studios. But if you look at the movies. How, how is it really the case that Warner gets out a movie after movie after movie after movie and each time makes a lot of money on all the movies that are released? And if you look at weekly data, what happens? Warner releases a movie, what happens? Is it a success? So that's basically what uh, somebody at the Competition Commission would do. They would basically the picture seems to tell, the big picture seems to tell a story of a rather oligopolistic market. And in this case, the merger and acquisitions that took place normally shouldn't have been accepted because they make the matter worse. But if you look then in terms of films, yearly or weekly data, I mean, if you, take, if you look in terms of film, yearly data, well, there was this uh, graph with the cost versus uh, profit made. And obviously it tells you that it seems to be a bit complicated. Normally you would expect, you would expect normally in a regular market, you would expect some kind of vertical differentiation to happen. So if you pull something costly, then you can sell it at a high price. And therefore, uh, you make a lot of revenue. If you, if you need to pull something costly, then that should be an advantage for the big ones, because of course they have more means spend a lot of money in uh, developing the film. But is it really what's happening here? Well, apparently from the plots that we had on, uh, on screen not long ago, it didn't quite seem to be the case. Or that you found was over there square, less than a half? So in case you found that less than a half, in the, it, was the profit or revenue is used? Profit? Uh, there was revenues. Revenues, I mean, uh, right, rather loose relationship between revenues and costs. So basically, that's something to have a look at. Um, and one thing that you might want to have a look at is, of course, the question of portfolio effect. Does, can, can, you, can anyone tell what the portfolio effect is? What, is, what, what do we call a portfolio effect? Minimizing risk. Sorry? Minimize risk. And how do you minimize risk? Diversify. Sorry? Covering different areas of the human So more variety. Yeah, exactly. So the idea is basically when you have assets where, when you have a situation where the profitability of assets is highly unpredictable, 
and basically there are huge inequalities of distribution. So you can have some assets, so you have a few, a handful of assets which do extremely well, but this is random, so there is no way of predicting for sure what's going to happen, then basically what you want to do is to have a portfolio of assets rather than just one or two. And that's something which is important to think about. If you're Warner, you're kind of the top studio, can, do you know? Do you learn how to make good films? I mean, is it that as time passes, you know, studios who were successful are even more successful? Or is it the case that they have one good film and then basically a handful of films without any viewers? You know, normally, you know, if you can make a good car, then you'd expect that the next one is going to be even better. So, is it something that happens with movies? That's something to have a look at. So you can have a look at the portfolio effect. Is it something that can explain the relative success of the studios? Do studios need to hold a large portfolio of films in order to retain their market share? Or can you just have two of them very good and that's it, you're, you're done for the year? Well, I mean, for, for me, it's, that's all for, uh, for today. Uh, I'm in my office as usual, if you want to come and show me what you've done. Uh, I'm a bit worried that there are many of you, there should be many more of you today. Uh, so if you, can, if, you, if you know some people who have decided that the course wasn't compulsory, um, if you could tell them that basically experience has shown that there is a strong correlation, in this case there is, a very strong correlation between people who actually take the time to come here and actually to show me their work and pass. That's, you know, normally there is a very strong correlation. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so a, a few of you have seen already, um, a few I haven't. So don't, don't hesitate to come by and, and show me. MG5 to 9. Uh, I'm here now. Um, no. <laughs> normally, normally I'm on Mondays. What are we doing there? So, so <laughs> I don't want to smoke that so badly. Like <laughs> I mean, I'm not around so I'm on the time, but then you can have it before the next.